The mass consumption of resources and energy poses a threat to the global environment on which our lives depend. And the emission of CO2 at construction and mining sites also has become a social issue as a cause of global warming. In 2008, 10 years of research and development finally came to fruition with the launch of the world's first hybrid hydraulic excavator, PC200-8E0, into the Japanese market. The Komatsu hybrid system utilizes the energy released during deceleration of swing to generate electricity, then reuses stored electricity to swing acceleration and assist the engine during acceleration. This achieves a major reduction in fuel consumption. We hebben de ervaringen die wij al hebben gedaan met het V15 types, hopen wij ook dat we dat door kunnen zetten met de grotere kranen die ons juist interesseren. HB335 is nu currently obtaining about 35% fuel saving over our PC 350LC. Dash 8 in the same application. So the fuel savings we've seen with the HB335 were up to sort of 10 litres an hour compared to other 35 tonnes in the market. Brandstofverbruik is steeds belangrijker geworden om dat gewoon te meten. Het is toch uitgekomen dat we bij de kranen ongeveer op 11 liter uitkomen. Dus dat spreekt het over een bezuiniging qua liters. Dus als je dat op jaarbasis uitsmeert, dan spreekt het ongeveer over 8000 euro. Met een nieuwe machine. We're probably around about saving maybe six to seven litres an hour, which is uh, quite significant when the two machines are working side by side. Oh, I'd use the 335 in any, any application. It's, um, it's a really good, really good and powerful machine, yes. Our operators comment on the lower cabin noise in the hybrids and the HB335s to be quieter than the HB215s. The 335 hybrid offers a number of advantages to our business. Uh, first of all, it's an innovative machine. It's new technology, which enables us to sell to our customers and clients. Uh, it also has a green application, so it's good for the environment, which a lot of the big customers that we have appreciate. It has even been deployed at Princess Elizabeth, the only zero emissions base in Antarctica. Here too, Komatsu's hybrid hydraulic excavator has been used in maintenance and snow removal work around the base.